Hey guys, in this video we're going to be building out the Airblade UAV Dark Knight 2.5 inch frame. This is the production version. I did a video a while back on a prototype that was a 2 inch version and I actually kind of built it backwards. But there uh, was a lot of complaints feedback on that one because uh, the stack itself is supporting the arms for the motors. And you guys can check out that video, put a card in the corner, but the design is totally different now. There's actually these standoffs here. Long screws go all the way through, and that actually is that was supporting uh, the frame holding it together. And then you can just put your stack here. You can go all the way through from top to bottom if you want, but I'm just, I'm not going to be doing that. I you see here it takes a 20 by 20 or 16 by 16 stack, uh, two and a half inch props, uh, so like 11 OXX motors, and um, the plates are two millimeters thick, and they're actually the same, uh, just mirrored. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to convert uh, the Mantis 85 here. Flies pretty nice. Came with a factory tune. Has a 16 by 16 stack. All in one camera. Uh, 1102 9000 TV motors. Is using 1.9 inch props. So I'm going to go to a 2.5 inch prop. I'm actually going to be using the Gemfan 65 millimeter prop. Two bladed ones on this. And I'm just going to move all the parts over. I'm using one of these all in one camera mounts. It doesn't come with this frame. Actually comes with these mounts instead, and that goes here, and it's actually for uh, those micro CCD cameras. But uh, since I'm doing a transplant uh, with this one has an all-in-one camera, I'm just gonna I move it over. Uh, I'm pretty sure I might, not, might pretty sure I don't have to do any soldering. I don't know what to see. I probably have to desolder the motors because the motor wires here are kind of weird. They they uh, they go around. And then through this hole, and then come up like this. Yeah, something would have to desolder the motor wires and resolder them, but not a big deal. Um, should be able to get this moved over to this frame, and we should get better performance on a little bit bigger prop. Uh, let's see how much this weighs. We can do it before and after. Get a frame measurement first. It's uh, about 21 grams just for the frame by itself, and then. The Mantis 85 here, fully built, is at 55.4 grams. So we'll see uh, how this looks on, on a two and a half inch prop. If it's a similar weight or less, should perform better on a bigger prop. Obviously, we're still going to go 2S because of the uh, Super S stack there, and the 6 FPCs are limited to 2S. So I'm go ahead and move everything over, and we'll take a look and see what the new weight is like, and then we'll go fly it. Okay, so here it is with the uh, all the parts moved over to the new frame. See, it looks pretty nice here. I did have to desolder the motor wires as I suspected to get everything out. And um, the, I was lucky enough that the motor wires were long enough to reach the 4 in 1 EC going from both the bottom and the top. Things here. The only thing I did here was just use a little bit of um, electrical tape to wrap it around the wires to secure it to the arms. And uh, you can see that they do just come down just fine, just enough length to reach. You do uh, want to tuck away those wires to make sure they're not going to get snagged by anything. Otherwise, you'll might they might rip off the solder pads on the foreign AC. So be careful of that. Um, this uh, camera mount, as I mentioned before, is something I picked up on Thingiverse. I think it's meant for a different camera than this one. You can see here the lens isn't centered. Uh, it's only a 15 degree tilt. That's the most that that, that one file had. There's a five degree tilt as well. But um, the standoffs don't appear in the FPV image, so you can't tell that the uh, camera is off-center. As I mentioned also before, this frame was actually meant for those micro CCD cameras. This is the included mount. Um, obviously, it's pretty easy. It'll be pretty easy to convert this to the micro CCD camera mount uh, and camera. You just have to put that camera mount on, put on a micro CCD camera. And then you have to wire it up for a separate video transmitter, like a little micro video transmitter, and possibly either mount it behind the camera or somewhere back here in this space here. There's like a little bit of open space in the frame. Um, that shouldn't be too difficult. If you do that, you'll probably, if you, if you end up doing that and you use the Super Stack, um, the, the BEC on this um, board won't be able to support the camera you have to power the camera directly from the lipo voltage 
and then uh, power the video transmitter from the built-in BEC, so keep that in mind. Uh, most of the micro CC cameras can take direct LiPo voltage, so that shouldn't be an issue, but that's the proper way to uh, connect it up if you decide to go that route. But I went this route because I wanted to keep it nice and ultra light, and as, I, as you can see, it's, uh, it looks pretty light. So let's get a measurement here. I believe it was around 55 or 56 grams on the old frame. And now we're at, uh, well, maybe about the same, maybe a little bit more. Just a touch, maybe a half a gram more. I don't remember the exact number from before, but yeah, it seems like it's just a, maybe a gram more than before. So we're moving up to a much bigger propeller here on this light, pretty light frame. And uh, yeah, it should perform pretty well. Obviously everything else is the same. I'm going to be using uh, the 350 milliamp hour LiPo. I did put the LiPo on top here and have just a little, little uh, Velcro strap to wrap around the frame. Um, it does get very close to the props, but it doesn't touch. It depends on what, also it'll depend on what kind of battery you're using as well. Uh, you could also possibly do the toilet, um, sort of toilet mounting of the battery. And I think you can use these included little um, hooks here on the frame to do that. And you can put the battery sideways, and that might, might actually be better to keep the battery out of the props if you do top mounting. But I think that it's actually, this frame is actually meant for a bottom mounting. You can see here, put it on the bottom here, and then you can use these hooks here to mount the battery on the bottom. But I'm using a pretty small battery, and I wanted to go on top and see how it flies. And you can see here on the, the way the motors are mounted with the st uh, staggered setup, uh, this is designed so that the front props and the back props will get clean air without lots of um, tilt. So you don't really need to tilt it up too much and it'll get very clean air all around. And I don't have a lot of camera tilt anyway, so this should be a pretty good setup overall and it'll be interesting with the top mounted battery to see how it performs. So anyway, it's enough for this uh, rambling on the, on, the, on the frame. We'll go ahead and take it out to the field and we'll give it a fly.